Welcome to your deep dive. So you're curious about this four-day work week thing, yeah. especially how it would really play out in construction. Yeah, it's everywhere you turn these days, isn't it? Everyone's talking about shorter weeks, happier employees. But can you really like swing a hammer for fewer days and still get the job done? That's the million dollar question, especially in construction. Right. And we've got some really interesting data to unpack on this. We've been digging into this report by SoPro. They're a sales engagement company, and they did this whole deep dive on this four day work week thing across all different kinds of industries. Uh -huh. And they looked at the good and the bad. And from your notes, it seems like construction could be in for some well, interesting times. Yeah, for sure. One of the most fascinating things that jumped out, at least for me, was the study in the UK where they actually, you know, put it to the test. Businesses, I mean, across the board, saw their revenue go up. Yeah, by an average of 1.4%, even with everyone working a day less. Okay, now that, that kind of feels counterintuitive. Right. Less time on the clock you'd think less would get done. What's what's the magic here? Well, the report, it suggests that a lot of it boils down to, well, employee well-being. When people have more time to rest and recharge, they come back to work more focused, more energized, more productive. You know what I mean? Like work to live, don't live to work. Exactly. And, you know, that's got to resonate, right? Especially in a field like construction, which is often, let's face it, physically demanding. It can lead to burnout. For sure. So, you know, happier, healthier employees, they tend to be safer, more efficient on the job site, which, you know, fewer accidents, fewer delays, ultimately a boost to the company's bottom line. Makes sense. Right. Okay, yeah, I'm starting to see how this could work. But let's talk specifics. The report, it mentioned a potential revenue boost of like 5.2 billion pounds for construction. That's that's massive. Where are those gains actually coming from? Well, think about it this way. When you've got a crew that's well-rested, focused projects, they get completed faster, deadlines are met, and you're able to take on, well, more projects overall. But right, and not just that. With lower burnout rates, you're less likely to see, you know, a revolving door of employees. Right, right. Which saves on the costs of constantly having to recruit and train new workers. So it's really, when you think about it, a win-win situation, or at least it has the potential to be. All right. That all makes sense in theory. But construction, it's got its own unique challenges, right? I mean, yeah. Tight deadlines, project-based work, demanding clients. So, so how do you actually make a four-day work week function in that kind of like high-pressure environment. Yeah, you're hitting the nail on the head there. That's the big question, isn't it? Yeah. And this is where the report suggests that efficiency, I mean, real true efficiency, becomes absolutely key. And we're not just talking about, you know, working faster. It's about streamlining operations, using technology to automate tasks, and really focusing on crystal clear communication and coordination. It's about, like we were saying, working smarter, not harder, but like for real this time. So if we're talking about like squeezing the same amount of work or even more into fewer days, it sounds like technology is going to be huge here. Oh, absolutely. And this is where it gets really interesting for construction specifically. Like imagine drones surveying job sites, right? In a fraction of the time, it would take a whole team on the ground or software that helps with project management, you know, keeping everyone on the same page, even remotely. Right. And and let's not forget about BIM, you know? building information modeling. It's like having this digital twin of the entire project, which means, you know, better planning, fewer costly mistakes. It's pretty yeah. amazing when you think about it. Okay, so we're talking about like streamlining things on the job site, making every hour count. But what about the client side of things? Construction, it's all about relationships, right? Keeping yeah. clients in the loop, dealing with their needs. So how does that all work if you're only available four days a week? That's a really important point. And the report actually digs into this. It highlights some potential downsides for industries that rely heavily on, well, they call it client interaction. Client interaction. Meaning. Okay, so think of it this way. Industries like software, finance, even telecommunications, a lot of their business, it comes from generating new leads, right? Okay. Basically finding new clients. Right. So they're used to that five day week of like constantly drumming up new business. So you lose a day. Well, you could be losing opportunities, you see. Okay. Yeah. I see what you're getting at.
So how does that that whole lead generation thing, how does that play out in construction specifically? Well, construction, it's not always about like constantly chasing new leads in the same way that, say, a software company might, right? Right. But maintaining those strong client relationships, I mean, that's that's absolutely essential. You've got to keep clients updated on the project, you know, address any concerns that might pop up and, and just generally be available to answer questions, provide that reassurance. Okay, so how do you balance that need for like that constant communication, that back and forth with, you know, this shorter work week? Well, the report actually offers some interesting solutions. One of the big ones is setting really clear expectations with clients right from the get go. Like if you're making that switch to a four day work week, don't keep it a secret. Be transparent about it. Let your clients know how it's going to work, when they can expect to reach you, how you'll ensure that, you know, communication keeps flowing smoothly. So it's all about communication, transparency right from the start. Don't just spring it on them. Exactly. And along with that clear communication, technology can really be a game changer here, too. Think about things like uh, project management tools that allow clients to, you know, just log in and see real time updates yeah. or even something as simple as setting up those automated email responses. Right. Let people know when they can expect a reply. It's all about, like we've been saying, working smarter, not harder. But in this case, to really manage client expectations effectively. OK, I'm sensing a theme here. Efficiency. Communication. That seems to be like yeah. the name of the game if you're going to make this four day work week thing actually work. You got it. And and here's where it gets even more interesting. The report suggests that, you know, even if your company, your specific company doesn't switch to a four day week, this whole trend, it's still going to impact you. Hold on. Back up for a sec. Even if like my company, we're cool with the five day thing, this four day work week trend, it's still going to find a way to affect me. How so? Well, think about it. Your clients, your competitors, they might all be switching over to this new way of working. Right. So even if you're technically, you know, available five days a week, you might find yourself dealing with clients who are only reachable four days or competing for those projects with companies that have figured out how to be more efficient with a shorter week. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. It's like this like ripple effect almost yeah. changing the whole industry landscape. Exactly. And that's why this whole report, it really emphasizes the need for, well, adaptability wow. whether you're the one you know implementing the four-day work week or not because the companies the ones who are going to really come out on top are the ones who can adjust their strategies embrace the technology and and just figure out how to maintain those really strong client relationships even with well potentially fewer touch points so it's it's less about how many days are on the calendar and more about how you actually use the time that you've got 100 percent. it's about maximizing efficiency right leveraging technology, streamlining all that communication. And for construction specifically, where things are already kind of, you know, moving towards more tech integration anyway, this could be like a huge opportunity to get ahead of the curve, you know? Okay, so big picture. Yeah. We've talked about the good, the bad, the potential upsides of this four-day work week, yeah. happier employees, increased productivity, maybe even, you know, a, a nice boost to the bottom line. Yeah. But we've also talked about the challenges, especially in an industry like construction, where, you know, client relationships are everything. Yeah. So for someone listening out there, you know, someone in the thick of it, in the construction world, what's what's the big takeaway here? What do they really need to be thinking about? Well, if we pull all of this together, it really seems like we're on the verge of a pretty massive shift in, well, in how we think about work in general. Yeah. It's not just about working less. It's about working differently, right? Right. It's about, you know, finding ways to be more productive, more efficient, using technology to your advantage and, and really building those, like I was saying, those strong communicative relationships with your clients. And that's true whether you're, you know, a one person show or part of this huge construction firm. So it's about adapting, hmm. innovating. And really figuring out how to work smarter, not harder. Yeah. Because this whole four-day work week thing, I mean, it's it's coming whether we're ready for it or not. Right. Absolutely. And the companies, the individuals who are willing to, you know, ride that wave, they're the ones that are going to really thrive in this new world of work. Love it. Food for thought. Yeah. This has been your deep dive into the four-day work week. Thanks for joining us.